Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Rat Selectors. And today I'm doing a response to my own video. With the Dreamcast coming to the Switch solely through emulation as it appears, many people have made comments and articles and videos on this topic. I still wanna keep the whole compilation side of bringing the Dreamcast to the Nintendo Switch open to discussion. My last video was based off of arcade games for the Nintendo Switch that were Dreamcast games. Some games covered sports and some were action adventure. And this video today, I'm gonna to be talking about the best arcade racers from the Dreamcast to the Nintendo Switch. Now the Dreamcast has a large library of arcade titles that were ported over from arcades directly to the Sega Dreamcast. And they were unbelievable ports. One said port, actually has probably one of the greatest soundtracks on the system, arguably, and probably one of the funnest games you could spend at least five minutes alone playing this game, and that's Crazy Taxi. From the opening sequence of this game, you're introduced to one of the greatest soundtracks on the Sega Dreamcast. The Offspring's All I Want is a great kickoff to what an arcade game should be on the Nintendo Switch or even on the Sega Dreamcast. Crazy Taxi is a simple game that allows the player just to pick up cab fares to elongate the time so you can actually play longer. You have a green goal, an orange goal, a yellow goal, and red goals. Each one getting further and further away from the said target. Each one allowing you to add more time to your overall clock. And each one allowing you to perform tricks, maneuvers, and spin outs, and give you more money towards getting a higher score. I remember playing a lot of the mini games. Bowling was a great game when you're with the cab and you're knocking down as many pins as you can. There was one that you could ramp, which was a lot of fun. Just this game alone was probably one of the greatest games for the Sega Dreamcast, Four Wheel Thunder. I did a review on this early on in the channel and I actually had a blast playing this. This is your typical racing game that has nitros and you just have to basically beat everybody. This game allows you to play dozens of tracks upgrade vehicles, have nitrous boosts, loads of shortcuts, a great soundtrack, and all at 60 frames per second. This game was a, such a blast to play, but the ability to save replays and upgraded trucks on your VMU was icing on the cake. Hydro Thunder, another one of Midway's great games to actually be ported to another great system, that's the Nintendo Switch. Midway really knocked it out of the park when it came to porting games over on the Nintendo Switch, from NFL Blitz to Four Wheel Thunder to Hydro Thunder and many others. Hydro Thunder featured 13 turbocharged Thunderbolts, 14 different tracks, bonus boats, tracks, power-ups, shortcuts. Hydro Thunder also featured a Newtonian physics, which allowed you to feel what it actually was like to race a boat on water. It was something very new to the physics-based gameplay of many games. Water physics was also featured in Wave Race. When you're hitting a wave a certain way, it would toss you a certain other way or it would actually allow you to continue with a tight curve. It was a really great game and it's such a blast to play even now. Daytona USA. Now you couldn't go to an arcade back in the 90s and early 2000s without going to Daytona USA. So much time and money was spent just waiting to get onto this game. It was unbelievable. I never was able to finish a full game, and I think that was the whole point, of Daytona USA on one quarter or one dollar that it cost back then. But being able to play head to head was unbelievable. Daytona USA featured online with up to three players going head to head, eight racing circuits, including five popular circuits from past Daytona games, three exclusive new circuits for the Dreamcast, race against ghost cars to practice against, and a whopping 40 cars on the track to race against. This game was hands down one of the most quarter munched games I played back in the day in the arcades. And bringing this over to the Nintendo Switch would be a no brainer. And finally, F355 Challenge. Those of you that are not familiar with this game, this game in the arcades had a wraparound screen that allowed you to sit down in a seat and be immersed from left, front, and right of your sights and peripherals. You were able to race, obviously, Ferrari cars, and you were able to also see passersby on each side of the screen. So when a car drove by you on the left side, you were able to see that car's hood and driver pass you by. It was, it was an unbelievable feat back in the arcades. And I remember playing this uh, quite a bit and seeing that for the first time blew my mind. I'm like, that was something that you weren't able to see other than on the rear view mirror in most 
driving games. But being able to use your peripherals to see challengers on all sides of you was unbelievable. Some features that F355 Challenge allowed you to do was two player split screen, a championship mode, and featured many extra tracks. Now, like I've said in the past, I'm going to be breaking these down a little bit further into what I would like to see in a compilation disc. And I would like to see more games actually brought to a physical style of gameplay. I want the actual games in my hand, not just downloaded on my Switch or downloaded on any other system, as a matter of fact. I like the physical version. I'm sure many of you are in the same boat. I would like to see a compilation of many different games on any platform, but the Nintendo Switch seems to be a perfect fit for the Dreamcast. Please let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification so you guys get notified of upcoming videos. Thanks, guys.